Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and tonight I am going to do a quick unboxing of The Commandos from Triton Noir. My French is terrible, but that's how I say it. Noir. Triton Noir. So, I used to really butcher it worse than that in, uh, uh, in high school. So, and I was, I took German and Spanish. I didn't take French. Anyway, uh, this just uh, released um, from Kickstarter and is shipping now. I think they've got all the U.S. copies shipped. Uh, this is the base game. There are two expansions that will be hopefully out at retail uh, later in the U.S. I do not know, um, but I'm hoping to get a copy of those as well. But uh, this is a World War II uh, miniatures without miniatures. Uh, you know, use counters for the miniatures, which is fine with me. Um, uh, infiltration, combat, and sabotage game. It's a very heavy box. It feels awesome. Uh, Victory depends on you. Be the stealthiest heroes of World War II. It's like a poem. Uh, move like shadows behind enemy lines and undermine the adversary's plans by accomplishing history-changing operations. It's a solo-friendly game. Uh, it's a cooperative game. Um, uh, you have mission cards. You're going to set up uh, the mission, uh, the field, based on the mission, and you have objectives. Uh, you got soldiers with different abilities. Um, very excited about this one. Very excited. So uh, let's dig in, see what we got. Get my trusty uh, utility box cutter knife there. And I'll rip in, see what we got going. It's beautiful artwork. This is one that's been uh, it was on Kickstarter. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure how late it was, um, but they sold it. Uh, they opened the backer kit for people who did not back during the Kickstarter campaign. And they um, uh, sold probably twice as many copies. So I uh, didn't back on that. Triton Noir was very nice enough to send me a copy to review. And that's what I'm going to do. But right now I'm going to show you what's inside. Uh, see if this interests you. The lid off because it's very heavy. Ugh. All right, so there's, there's no insert, which is uh, good. It's good and bad because you're going to throw most of those cheap cardboard inserts away. So, all right, we have a rule book. Uh, we have the English rule book. It says rule book. And it is completely English and it is 24 pages. It does have an index which is always very, very nice to have. Uh, glossy, full color. Um, love that it has the components listed at the beginning, so you know what you're getting, you know what you're looking for. Um, covers the, uh, the different concepts of the game, and you go right into your game turns. Very thick, very nice, thick, glossy stock. Uh, cool. Do, 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 do. Now, I have seen a lot of questions appearing on BGG. I'm subscribed to the game. So there have been some rules questions, but not too many. So I'm hoping the rules are well written. Um, and these are just, you know, edge cases, but uh, that is for another day. So I'll put that there. And we have the French rule book, which I could read to you and really uh, butcher it up. But you get both rule books uh, in the same box. So it's very nice. You get a training manual. Also, English and French. I assume entraînement means training. And I presume that people who speak French just cringed as I said that. But this is an English review or unboxing, so we'll look at it from the English perspective because I'm English. Okay, so you got training missions. Cool, just take you through the different concepts at the end of the game. This is just a kind of a uh, brochure, essentially. Three, uh, one page. The thick, the thick cardstock pages kind of, kind of uh, create an illusion um, that's, that it's more pages, but it's actually just a, a folder. Uh, it's got one, two, three quick training missions. There you go, it's also got tactical advice. Uh, Things I guess you need to think about while you're while you're running the mission. All right, let's see what else we got in here. We have wow, this is like uh, 
I seem to recall when they were selling this, that they were selling it as a uh, a French, you get the French or the English, but it looks like they just went ahead and combined everything in one. So here we have emission cards, but these are obviously in French. So just leave those sealed. And then we've got the mission cards here in English. You could, uh, I guess you could use this like a, uh, like a Rosetta Stone, and you could read The Tower, or Tour, and teach yourself French, or if you're French, teach yourself English. Probably easier to learn French than it is to learn screwy English sometimes, but uh, we learn to speak it real good. All right, let's pull these apart. So we have mission cards. These have got character cards too. This is all, this is, these are certain cards. So let's look. All right, so we've got the radar station. As you see, it's got a setup of how you're going to play the tiles. You have big tiles, you have small tiles, you have medium tiles. So then you, I guess, you randomly set them up. So we've got a radar station, we've got barracks, tower, bridges. Really nice artwork. I really like that. Water tower, snipers. Operation Great Sword. So they got different buildings, different setups. I guess these are the missions and these are the different levels of the missions. That makes more sense. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Operation Great Sword. All right. So let me see. Figure that out. Weapons Depot, Docks, Operation Green. So these are missions and locations, I guess. Uh, city, Operation Grail, Operation Silence, Panzer, Panzer Depot. That's where you go to buy your Panzers. They have them all in, little, uh, in like a warehouse. You can just buy one. All right, so put those there. Very nicely made. Not sure what the size of these are. I don't know if these are like the Lord of the Rings. Uh, not War of the, uh, Lord of the Rings, War of the Ring uh, cards. The larger oversize or not, but... Uh, all right, so here's your medic. It's a player card. And so he is two-sided. So one side's obviously going to be um, easier. One side's going to be harder. It looks like here, one, two, three, four, five, six slots, including two med kits and a gun. And here there's three slots with just one med kit, so it's probably the Probably a tougher side, I would guess. Isn't it fun how I, I read these and I guess? We have a, you have a, there's another operation card. We'll put that over there. So we've got a medic. We have a sniper. There's another operation. We have a sapper. Some more operations. We have an officer. We have a gentleman. We have a gentleman card in here. Uh, or all the missions, I'm sure they all go together. We have a scout. Nope. We'll go Boy Scout. And more operations. There you go. So it comes with, I guess, five characters to choose from. So we have a British character. We have a, let's see, Scottish, probably. UK, British, American, Russian. And uh, French. Excellent. There's character cards. Obviously, you're going to have those in here in French. Maybe you should play the French character using the French card. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. All right. Then we've got some sort of action cards. Um, again, French and English. Six game sense. Ha, huh, that was horrible. Six cents. We'll go with that. Maybe uh see dead people in this one or something. You never know, right? Maybe Kevin try to use a knife and cut his fingers off on camera. That would be fun. I'm actually filming this a little earlier in the day, in the evening, tell I'm not as tired. As I sometimes are. So these all look like their event cards, action cards. 
We've got company, permanently remove three regular enemy units, picked up from the enemy reserve, place them back in the game box. White flag, if the alarm is triggered, one enemy unit on a tile adjacent to a stealthy commando waves a white flag. The commando raises their heads, becoming visible. Enemy units within shooting range, open fire, six to hit. During this turn, all commandos seek revenge. Add one more die to any other shots. Awesome. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, we got a little German there. Fear alarm. The alarm is triggered and all the commandos are stealthy. Flip the enemy entrance tokens, black side, and remove the alarm token. Oh, false alarm. Translates for you. That's very nice. So you can learn German and French and English. Nice cards, normal, uh, normal poker size. Very cool. Dice, custom special dice. 12 of them. Assume they're all identical here. Ones through sixes, and my ball on the ones and the twos. And as usual, they work. And I only rolled eight of them. So we'll just put those aside there. So I'll collect the bags for when the tokens are punched. All right, so now our punch boards. We have obviously German soldiers. It's kind of weird looking through the camera. It's like, oh, is this the thing? No, no, this is nothing. This is just junk. This is the counter. Very nice thick counters. Very well centered. They did a great job with the protection values here. I don't know if there's a difference. Uh, let's see, he's got two. He's got two white squares. He's got one white square, so I assume that's a level or something like that. Very nice, very again, very thick, very sturdy counters. Put them in backwards there. All right, so you got a punch board of Germans. And we have a punch board of more Germans. These have three. And they have black around them, which always means there's something special. SS or something like that, probably. So they've got three, whatever. Again, three health, three strength, something like that. Some more Germans. And then we've got, obviously, our uh, uh, heroes. More soldiers here. And you got... Oh, I didn't notice that they're clothing. Oh no, this is uh, okay. This is cool. This is the uh, this is your soldier. As uh, the medic, he's got the the bag, and this is when him in disguise. I, I believe so. He's, he's wearing German disguise. So when he's moving around and he puts on a uniform, I can't be recognized. So that's pretty cool. All right, so you have a counter sheet of those. Then we have keep these tokens to customize your game. So I guess you don't throw them away. It's the universal symbol for do not throw me away. Um, looks like some civilians are going to interact with in missions. More soldiers. Something that doesn't say not to throw it away. So I assume you don't throw it away, but it means something. It's a circle with a line through it. More soldiers. This is characters three, third character sheet. All right, we've got some small terrain or custom objects here, uh, items, really. So you've got, a, got some trucks, got some uh, doors. So doors closed, doors open, doors closed, doors open. We've got trucks, we've got a guy. Getting off a truck, and you got two guys getting off a truck, and it's yellow, so that obviously means something special. We've got a machine gun nest right here. So it's just double-sided, I don't see much difference. Same strength, same, same icons, just, just backwards, or just uh, on the reverse. Got some machine guns, we've got MP40s. Uh, STG 44s, uh, some leader hats, so this is some leader skill maybe, uh, medical medical bags. All right, again, these are great when you read the rules. Then we got our map pieces. These are, all these are really nice and thick. These are great. These are so thick they're just coming right out. So you've got small areas, you got large areas. So here's a uh, 
barracks, I guess. Possibly. It looks like lockers. First, I thought it was a conference room with a table. And on the ver on the reverse, you got uh, a jeep and uh, an outdoor map. Yeah, so obviously, these fit together like this, like this. However, the however the mission location tells you to tells you to set them up. Nice, nice, nice. I really do like the artwork. It's a, a little more, even though it's cartoonish, maybe graphic novelish. It's not as cartoony as like Heroes of Normandy, um, which is just over the top. It meant to be, and it looks good that way, but uh, this is not like that. So, more rooms. Let me see a compass dial. I'm sure, that has a meaning. Small rooms. Okay, so we've got this uh, sheet of markers. Uh, looks like you got uh, crowbar, grenades, uh, alarms, dynamite, um, uh, sighting tokens, trap doors. So it looks like here sewer, sewer openings, something like that. Very cool. No alarm. So we snuck some more doors on here. Yep. And then you got terrain pieces here, and you got. Looks to be like three sheets of these. No, nope, there's four. And as you can see, some of them have come out in, in shipping, so that's fine. Uh, they are, yeah, they're right under there. They've all just kind of slid apart. But that's fine. They look like they're intact, kind of wedged together here. So you're going to end up basically with a medium room, a large room, and three small rooms on each sheet, I guess. And again, they just want to come right out of the frame because it's, the frame is mostly tile, mostly the tiles, little frame. So it just kind of dissipates from there. So very cool. So got a lot of these. So there's basically four sheets of these plus the ones we saw before. So you're going to get lots of variability here in these rooms. Indoor, outdoor. And like this is obviously an outdoor courtyard or maybe a Warehouse and then an outdoor with tree coverage. Anyway, so you get four sheets of those. A lot of indoor, outdoor stuffage, bunk room, shower room, something like that. Oh, lots of cool stuff. So anyway, it's interesting. This one has, uh, oh, they all have, if you look closely, they all have little circles for uh, markers. So you don't just pile them in here. It actually has a, uh, a limit or motion movement. So very cool. Anyway, enough babbling. This is what you get in um, the base game of V Commandos by Triton Noir. You got about four, four full sheets of uh, terrain pieces. You get one sheet here, it says of tokens, or two sheets of tokens. This is token sheet two. Oh, here's another half sheet of pieces, another half sheet of terrain pieces, you get more tokens, sheet one, you get characters, sheet three, you get characters, sheet two, you get three sheets of characters. That's all language uh, independent. And then you get uh, missions and heroes and action cards in French. You get the same thing in English. You get the rule book and the training book, both in both in French and English, and you get 12 custom dice. So that is what's in V Commandos, a Triton Noir. Very cool. Now I've got to find room to play it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.